Hi, it's John. I'm in Oxford. And this is uh, Magdalen College and Magdalen College, uh, Magdalen Bridge over the River Cherwell. Now this is where on May morning they all celebrate here and have choir boys at the top of the tower singing madrigals and um, people used to be able to hear them but now everybody gets absolutely stoned out their mind um, and make a huge racket so uh, the choir boys are a bit of a waste of time but that's the old famous Maudling College and um, if you go up where that bus is going that goes up to the high street and uh, behind me is something called the plane yeah this is uh, called the plane here I'm not sure why it's the plane I mean that might be a plane tree um, on the left is Headington Hill and then you've got on going straight across is the Cowley Road and then on the right is the Ifley Road and then on the right right that goes to the sports ground where Roger Bannister um, first ran the first four minute mile. It all happens at Oxford, it really does. Lots of stuff has happened here. So this is part of the Cherwell um, where they go punting a lot and I dare say it's where um, Lewis Carroll used to take boatloads of naked children but we don't talk about that, do we? We keep quiet about that. Lewis Carroll, um, Alice in Wonderland person. A bit further up, you'll see the punts, but here there's no punts at the moment. There's the punts and the boats that you can hire. And uh, have a little wander around the Charwell. Um, it's good fun actually, I've done it in the past. Um, see, look, if you can't punt, you can have a, a rowing boat. Wouldn't like to fall in that water though, it looks a bit murky, doesn't it? Then over to the left here is the uh, Botanical Gardens and presumably that big place there is where they hold exhibitions of paintings and things where my wife has an exhibition where Helen has an exhibition at the moment so that's great that's why I'm here great excitement This is a very Romanesque arch. I can't believe it is Roman, but uh, someone's gone through a lot of trouble there to re recreate the impression of um, is it the Byzantine era? Um, quite dramatic view through the arch of the waterfall. So this is where Helen Simpson's exhibition is, in this um, exhibition room. It's got a very tall ceiling so it's quite echoey inside. These paintings are on non-reflective glass so it um, means that you can get away with putting them in places where you wouldn't normally be able to put them.
cauliflower's come out well in the end. <laughs>